Hi, it's Paul here from selfoutforlife.com and this is going to be the first of three videos where I'm going to go into the Myers-Briggs personality types. You may well have heard of them. This video is going to be more of an introduction, we're going to talk a bit about the history, and then we're going to cover the four preferences that underlie the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types. Then in video two, I'll cover eight of the Myers-Briggs personalities, and then in video three, I'll cover the other eight. So links to those videos will be in the description below, and also there'll be a link to the blog post that covers everything that I'll be covering in all three videos. So I'll start with a bit of history. It was created by Catherine Cook Briggs and Isabel Briggs Myers, who was actually the daughter of Catherine. So it was a mother and daughter relationship. And the purpose of the Myers-Briggs test was actually to help women find jobs during World War II, so find jobs that would suit their personality. And it took the work of Carl Jung, so Carl Jung's previous work, and made it more practical and easier to understand. So to find out which Myers-Briggs personality type you are, you would normally do a Myers-Briggs type indicator test. And this would be supervised by a Myers-Briggs practitioner. However, there are free tests that you can do online, and I'll put a link in the description to my favorite one, or if you want to go to it right now, just go to selfhelpforlife.com forward slash Myers Briggs. So what are the benefits of knowing your Myers Briggs personality type? Well, it will help you understand why you like or dislike certain things. It will also help you identify your strengths and weaknesses. It will also help you understand why you get along with some people and not other types of people. And also it can help you choose a career or even choose a relationship that's going to be suited to your personality type. So I'm now going to cover the Myers-Briggs preferences. So there are four preferences that underlie the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types. And the preferences are about how you direct your energy, how you perceive and observe the world, how you make decisions, and how you deal with information and the outside world. Now each preference has two options. So four preferences with two options each, when you look at all the different combinations that adds up to 16 personality types. Now as I go through the preferences in a moment, it's important to know that we're not totally one or the other. So in the same way as you might be typically right-handed, it doesn't mean that you can't use your left hand at all. It just means you prefer doing some things with your right hand. So the first preference, which is probably the most well-known, is a tendency towards introversion, indicated by the letter I, or extroversion, indicated by the letter E. And this is really about where you direct your energy. So someone who's more introverted will typically be quieter, they will enjoy time alone or meaningful one-on-one -on -one conversations. They'll tend to direct their energy inwards towards ideas, information, explanations, or beliefs. They tend to be deep thinkers, so they want to understand concepts and ideas. And this is really important. They feel recharged after spending time alone. So they need time alone to be able to replenish their energy. So a more extroverted preference would be someone that enjoys company, enjoys other people. They like to be the center of attention. So they're your typical extroverts. They're lively and sociable. They want to direct their energy outwards towards people, things, and situations. And their focus is much more on the external or outside world. And more extroverted people, they feel energized after spending time with people. So that's a key distinction. So if you feel that you need time out to re-energize, then you're more introverted. If you feel that you feel more energized after you've had a really good um, social night out, then you're more extroverted. So the second preference is sensing, indicated by the letter S, versus intuition, indicated by the letter N. And that's because I has already been taken for introversion. So this is about how you perceive and observe the world. So people with more of a sensing preference like to take in information from their five senses only. So what's really important is what they can see, hear, feel, taste, and touch. And when they're looking at facts, it's what's true that's really important to them. They want to know that this is true. And they want to back up any ideas with specific evidence. So they like data, they like numbers, which means that they're also more into hands-on experience. That's important to them as well. So people that lean more towards the intuition preference tend to like ideas, patterns, meanings, and concepts. 
they'll look beyond the five senses and maybe take information from other sources. So they might be more into like metaphysics, for instance. They also tend to visualize and imagine their future. So preference three is thinking, indicated by the letter T, versus feeling, indicated by the letter F. And this is about how you make decisions based on the information gathered from sensing or intuition. So someone that leans to more towards the thinking preference will tend to base decisions on logic and whether it makes sense. They'll ask questions such as, will this work? Is this true? Or does this make sense? So as a result, they're likely to be more analytical and detached. Now, people that lean more towards the feeling preference are more likely to make decisions based on emotions. And also they tend to value things in other ways. So besides money, they might value things like satisfaction. They also tend to make decisions based on their perception that something is good, bad, right or wrong. So they're more aware of that. They'll also tend to make decisions that make them feel good or take them towards something that they enjoy doing. So this might specifically be in the case of a career. So someone that's more thinking might take on a career that has a really good salary. As someone that's more feeling might look more at other aspects like how much they're going to enjoy the job. Also, people with the feeling preference will tend to make decisions that will benefit others. So they'll tend to look more to other people and also they'll make decisions on what they believe is important. So the fourth and final preference is a leaning towards either judgment, indicated by the letter J, or perception, indicated by the letter P. And this is about how people deal with external events and the outside world. And whether you like structure and planned things or whether you're more likely to go with the flow. So this can influence decision making, but also how you handle information. So someone that leans more towards the judgment preference likes to have a planned life organized and they like to have a sense of structure. So they're more likely to plan their day, for instance. They also tend to look for others before making decisions. They like to know what other people think before they decide themselves. So these are the kind of people where when you go to a restaurant, they want to know what everyone else has ordered before they decide what to order themselves. When it comes to information, less is more. If you give these people too much information, they'll easily become overwhelmed. Now, people with a tendency more towards perception, they like to go with the flow and they're flexible and spontaneous. They can deal with things as they arise. They don't feel that they need to plan for every eventuality. Their day tends to be less structured and planned and they might well seem quite disorganized to other people, but they're enjoying life and they're having fun in the process. Now, when they make decisions, they'll do that with an inward focus. So they'll rarely involve others. So these might be the people that choose what they're gonna have on the menu first. And they're looking at what is the right decision for me. That's their main focus. And with these people, the more information, the better. They want lots of information. They are not gonna get overwhelmed with too much information. So to recap, we have four preferences. And each of those preferences has two choices or options. And each of those choices or options are indicated by an alphabetical letter. So when you combine the choices for the four preferences, you end up with some weird personality type codes such as ESTJ. And that is one of the 16 personality types. So the 16 personality types, all with weird four letter codes, but they also have names as well. And I'll identify those in the next video. So what next? Well, I encourage you to watch this video again. And as I go through the preferences, notice which one you think you lean towards, okay? Or you can read the blog post if that's easier for you. There's a link to the blog post in the description below. And also do a free Myers-Briggs personality test. And you can do that by going to selfhelpforlife.com forward slash Myers-Briggs. Or you can click the link in the description below as well. So in the next two videos, and there'll be links in the description below, I'm going to cover each of the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types in detail. So one video will cover the eight more introverted personality types, and then the other video will cover the more extroverted ones as well. And for each, I'll describe them. I'll also give you an idea of how common they are, because some are more common than others. And I'll also give some examples of some famous people that fit into those particular Myers-Briggs personality types. So lots of great fun stuff. So do check out those videos in the description below. 
So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and do leave a comment below. And do subscribe to this channel so you get access to more videos just like this one. And click the bell notification as well, that way you'll always be notified whenever I release new videos. And if you haven't already, do go and check out my website, that's selfupforlife.com. On my website, you will find the written versions to all of my videos and also a link to my podcast and social media channels as well. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to sharing more great content with you very soon. Bye for now.